What's up gamers, my name is iFeature, we're gonna look into Bloom from Oakstone today and let's get right into it. I have three examples for you. One is a vocal, one is a bass sound and one is the sidechain function. And let me right open it. I would love to show you first the example. So this is the first example what we have, which is a little bit harsh and it's just an, like annoying in our ears. It's pretty weird, I know. And if you activate it now, I put like, I tweaked a little bit the settings and it sounds like that. So what I understood so far, I think Bloom is like a spectral kind of adaptive EQ, which is like looking at the sound and trying to remove everything what is like, what, f or like try to emulate like the natural sounding for us and everything what is like weirdish he tried to take it away or boost it in like everything at the same time correct me if i'm wrong but i think that is what it's doing and you can even so what i see here you can even low cut it you can high cut it and you can even deactivate or spe or you can say like specific where he only should do the effect. Oh, you can tell you can tell now it's getting harsh because like and um, we just um in decrease the amount what we wanna um like we just focusing on like a specific frequency spectrum. Yeah, and so what is also pretty cool is it has lows, low mids, and high mids and highs. It's split up completely into the different frequency sections, into the different four bands. And you can set up also the frequency split up as you want. You can boost the sound or completely remove it. And the cool function about it is the amount goes from zero to seven. And then if you go over it, it's compressing it. Or like kind of squashing it, if you want to take it that way. And you can even say, if you want to squash it even more. Or less, so you're going to go down with it. You can also boost it really hard. So now it's really flat. You can boost the wet signal. And you can boost the output now. <laughs> it's really compressed now. Right. Um So let's let's see actually also the default one. Uh, oh by the way, I have to say also this is not sponsored, so I'd, it's just I just do it because it's uh, really interesting for me to look into also new plugins and stuff, and I would love to show it to you guys. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, you can also solo these functions to hear like which band you're using right now. So you can see exactly. And the cool function is even you can switch the modes, so. If I'm not, if I'm not stupid. Oh. Yeah, exactly. So now it switches the mode, so you can exactly, like, leave in the middle the space and then only process the here on this side and this side. And if we switch it now back, it's selecting only this one now. And I think that's pretty sick. You can also, of course, do the whole frequency now. Yeah, I think that that's pretty cool. You can also do more more quality if you want to. It's a little bit more CPU-ish. 
And we have also the possibility to mid side split it or left and right split it. Let's put it to mid side. And then you can go crazy with boosting the mids, taking away the mids, boosting the sides, taking away the sides. You know that game. You can switch it like that also. But you can also click on it like that. Works too. You can also unlink it or link it. It also says what it's doing. It just whatever the channels are analyzed separately, 0%. Or is it or is the sum together, 100%? Yeah. You can also switch the focus. Double click to go back. What else can we see? Let's see to the other example. What I really like to, like, to show you guys. Um, this is the base. And in this problem, I feel like it's a little bit muddy-ish and I would love to remove a little bit the muddy so we have a more clear sound in a way. So here precisely. And without. And with. Without. So you can hear it's really kind of taking the, how is it already saying, like boxiness out, which is kind of nice. So it's more even. And then to make a little bit more space for the kick, you can then, whoop, let's put it to the side. You can just put a little bit away from the 100 hertz. So it's really clean. And now if we deactivate it and activate it, So it's really clean now. Without bloom, with bloom. So you can tell it's really changing a lot. It's pretty, pretty cool. And I really like that it's doing that. Well, let's go to the third example, which I also really like. I really like this in Sooth already, but I think this is also pretty nice. Let's go, let's say you have a vocal. This vocal is by the way from my sample pack, which is available on Patreon. You need to check it out. It's pretty cool. And yes, so you have a vocal and you have a bass and you want to fit the vocal into the bass so it's not clashing each other. So right now, if we hear and listen to it, deactivate it. And now I'm going to activate it. And now I'm going to speed run it on and act it on and turn it off. And yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I think this is pretty nice if you're like really like, I would say you're a little bit lazy and you just want to keep going and just produce something and don't want to focus too much and just taking the EQ and try to find like some weird frequency where is like the problem. You just put bloom on it. You try to put the amount a little bit up and he's already trying to find kind of the issue. And if you like take like the range of it and it like decrease it a little bit so you can see exactly where is the problem and he's doing it automatically and you don't have to do anything which is pretty sick and if you want to like give a little bit more space for some stuff or some instruments you can do that too it's pretty cool about the price it i mean it's it's new out right now so it's like typical oak sound it's also the development it's also to support and like the whole team and stuff i can understand that they want to have like a like all the all the plugins are like two hundred dollars, I think, two hundred euro, two hundred dollars, something like that. I I don't I don't know ex exactly anymore out of my head, but yeah, I think I think still it's nice to support them and to help these boys to make for us these plugins like that. So I would say it's totally totally nice. Um, Comparison to Sooth, I would say this is like a 
really, really nice, really, really nice alter ego or like a brother, right? And this plugin reminds me really of Gulfos, if you if you heard about it. Well, personally, I would say Bloom is so much better than Gulfos, even though Gulfos has like also like a specific algorithm and stuff. But I feel like Bloom is more like more natural for the ears and it's not that harsh as Gulfos. Of course, you can tame it on Gulfos, but it's like Bloom is natural, more softer and not that like like that 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 aggressive you know what i mean it's i don't know you i mean i can show it right now but so you understand what i mean let me just pull golfers on that base just on the hardest settings So you need to tame it down on the brightens. You can also play with the bias, get some. I think it's only odd, odd, odd harmonics, or even, no, maybe it's even. No, 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 it's adding even harmonics. I think. Yeah, you pl I think you play with the odd and even harmonics. That's all. Yeah, now let's check it on Bloom and just reset the settings completely. User default, factory default, let's see. I think it's so much more nicer. It's so natural, I like it. And I don't know, like I feel like Gulfos is I don't know, it's I, I don't I don't like it anymore. If I compare it to Bloom, I think I just want to have Bloom in, instead, if you know what I mean. It's it's just it's so I th I feel like you can just adjust so much more things. You have an A B section also, so you can compare it if you like it or not. You can squash it a little bit more to compress it, which is also pretty cool. You can set even the f fucking frequency bands. I think, I mean, I said it already. I think it's pretty sick and I I think I would definitely recommend Bloom. I put also the link from Bloom in the description so you can just like click, literally click on it if you're too lazy and just like, I don't know, test it out for 20 days. And yeah, I highly recommend to buy and support the team. <laughs> Not the, I know a lot of people do the other way. <laughs> that is my walkthrough for this plugin. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was not too chaotic. I think I will record some production videos soon. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video and see you next time.